Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 125. So, this is either going to be insanely easy or relatively easy, basically. Judging by uh, what the game decides to put me up against. I'm gonna use my SLR, Mercedes SLR McLaren for this second, second segment. And uh, hopefully the game gives me SLR McLarens to race against. Because that's a possibility, judging by the one video I watched that exists on the internet of this. Legend of the Silver Arrow, Mercedes Benz, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak, anyways, limited to pretty much any Mercedes model, really. <clears throat> but, uh, three single races, and let's go to Fuji for our first race. Alright, well, there is, in fact, an SLR McLaren in this race, so, um,. Yay! Let's just go. Three laps around uh, the 90s circuit. Here we go. Standing start. Just kind of fucking with the throttle here. I'm going to launch the second gear. And get absolutely no wheel spin. Alright. Why is there a fucking van in this series that... Since when has Mercedes made a van? I don't even know. All I know is I got a much better launch than the other SLR. Holy shit. Straight to the lead I go. And he's still struggling to get into second. Alright, well then. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Fucking shit, come on, car. I'm fucking gone. I am gone. That other McLaren still has not taken second. Holy shit, almost went off course. That would have been bad. Do it again, just preparing for this turn. Nope, oh, now he made it. But, uh, it's kind of way too late on that. So there we go, one lap complete, two to go. Oh, I was late on the brakes, holy shit. Even with the little wing trying to help me out. You know, the other SLR is not really pulling away from everyone else, and I am in the grass. Alright. I am not driving well at all. Now he's kind of getting away. So this is going to be another piss easy series. Oh well. Such is the case of the one-make races in the game, choosing, randomly choosing between a bunch of different cars, fast and slow. Even choosing the fast car, and I'm just absolutely wrecking their shit. A lot early on the brakes here. Come on, damn it! Back on the road. 17 seconds ahead of the other SLR. Yeah, I slowed down way too much.
Didn't slow down enough. It's okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Careful. Okay, one more turn to go. And first race out of three is down. Gonna shift into fifth gear because just for no reason, absolutely no free A spec points, goddamn. So yeah, there we go. That A160 avant-garde just had no chance whatsoever. Finishing anything higher than last. Seven and a half grand for winning. And let's go to the second race. Alright, so our second race is at the Nürburgring for one lap. Can't have a race in Germany or miss without... <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up and drive. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Can't have a Mercedes race without going to the Nurburgring, is what I was trying to say. And uh, another SLR in this field, but he's starting in fifth, so, um. Another race of absolute slaughter. Man, those fucking exhaust pipes are. way up towards the front of the car. It's like almost right behind the front tires, I think. So here we go. One lap of dominance around the ring. I have to get Reese to uh, driving around here in this game after being after uh, doing so many fucking laps around here in Forza. Including my failures in the finale of that game. I well there's a car off the track. It's the Avant Guard. Three wide. This doesn't work. Get around the fucking van. And accidentally force him off to. Whoa! Well then. Anyways. Failures included. I did about. Do. Uh, fucking goddamn it. about 45 to 50 laps around here to finish out Forza. So yeah. I need to uh, reacquaint myself with the GT4 way of getting around here. Whoa. Hey look, the other SLR made it in second place already. thing I need to remember is I can't go around here nearly as quick as I did in Forza. In any car. It's also a lot more narrow. Or at least it seems that way. Curbs for as hell aren't nearly as tall. Oh boy.
How far ahead am I? 4.7 seconds, alright. Seems about right. stuff. It's kind of cruising along here. I took that way too fast. And we're spinning. Yep. Come on, accelerate. Now we're approaching the fun part, fucking carousel. Kind of made it around there, and they get into all the, uh, you know, banking and shit is not nearly as uh, extreme or steep or whatever. And transitions and shit are, yeah, extreme as Forza, so yeah. After that spin, I still have a seven second lead. Flying off track there. Oh, shit. Of course, 50 laps around here is nothing compared to what I'm going to do later in this game. And I think you know what, uh. You know what I'm talking about. If you know anything about this game. Okay, down to the straightaway to finish the race. Oh, wait. The control line is not on the straightaway in this game, huh? difficult part of this track. Just because of how much speed carrying, damn it, I already fucked it up. Okay, around the final turn, and there we go. Absolute domination of race two. I don't know why the game puts that ace 160 in this race. It's so fucking underpowered. So underpowered. Hey, at least the other SLR made it to the line before the fade. 
It's good for him. <laughs> and just leaves one more race in the Legend of the Silver Arrow. And this is going to be an interesting finale. Three laps around Opera Paris. This tight ass circuit. So here we go. I didn't even see if there's an F. Yeah, no. Pretty sure they gave me one A spec point, so there is not another SLR in this race, which means I'm going to dominate even harder to end this series. Looks like there's an A160, so we made sure to keep that in the race. Have those two duke it out for a while. Them. Now I have to get around the frickin' avant garde. He makes it easy for me by just going wide. Not only is that really fucking slow, but the driver of it is really fucking bad. It's just a double kick in the nuts. I'm gonna go to first gear here and probably regret this decision. I did not regret that decision. Come on, slow it down. I think this is just kind of one giant fucking parking area, this whole last section here. And if it isn't a parking area, it's just a giant fucking square of tarmac. For whatever reason. Stop. Thirteen seconds ahead already, since the lack of SLR. Shit. Took that too fast. Staying in first gear, fuck you. Damn it. Okay, going to second gear. Whoop. Okay, one lap to go in the Legend of the Silver Arrow. It's not very legendary considering I just made this fucking cakewalk. In preparation of having to face an SLR McLaren. Very wide. Alright, down the fast section one last time. on the brakes, but we're good. Okay. And off 
final turn. There we go. Fuck me. For making this easy. Fucking A160. I'll never get over that thing. But there we go. That was The Legend of the Silver Arrow. Click my last bit of prize money from it. And now for a wonderful Mercedes prize car. This better be luxurious and or fast. Yes. CLK Touring Car. Uh, yes. That is fast, so I'll take it. There we go. That was a quick little series. Well, it wasn't really quick compared to what I've been doing, but um, less, fewer races. Slightly longer races, but fewer races. So let's just check out my CLK Touring Car. And all of its coolness. There we go. Nice uh, 2000 DTM car. So with that, stay tuned for more GT4, more Mercedes racing.